I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition right here on Missile Down Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. Uh, the last episode was pretty crazy. We were able to get the loyalty mission of Jacob Dunn. Uh, his dad is just god awful. What a horrible, horrible human being. Uh, and I guess that. You know, I kind of wish Jacob was at least like a little bit horrible. Anyways, the point is, a uh, huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres of these videos and an even bigger shout out to you, those of you supporting me and this channel over on patreon.com slash missiledineonline. I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. The link for that is in the description below. Uh, and also for all of you that have done uh, super chats during the premieres or the thanks button that we just got added. Thank you guys so much. And also, if you do like this series and my videos in general, leaving a comment or a like on my videos as soon as you can when those come out really helps boost us into the algorithm so thank you so much for everyone that does that i love you you're beautiful don't let anybody tell you otherwise especially especially you you know you know what i'm talking anyways uh in today's episode of mass effect 2 we are going to do yet another loyalty mission and you guessed it based off of the title of this video we are going to get thane's loyalty by now doing the sins of the father which actually takes place on the citadel so this is going to be a very hopefully quick episode and uh we're just gonna leave alpha draconis get to the mass relay and head on over to the citadel now it is worth mentioning that we do have another in seven mission here at the rosetta nebula that we discovered in the last episode however that leads to basically the fall of the blue suns so i want to do those all in one episode i think i thought we were done my friends with with the uh with the in seven missions but this game just pulls us right back in. Anyways, let's head to the serving episode. And now, my friends, that we are, we have, we're, we're docked with the Citadel. Let's go talk to Thane so he can actually tell us to go to the Citadel and we can grab his loyalty mission and see what's going on. This is another one of those loyalty missions, much like Samara's, where there's actually no combat involved whatsoever. So let's go ahead, let's talk to him, and let's see what he needs us to do for him. Shepard. Thane. Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, uh, it seems more difficult to talk about. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. How long has it been since you talked? 10 years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. My father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads. He tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. Huh. That is... Oh, boy. How long Ten it years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. What sort of dance? The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads. He tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. Don't look at him. Well, that is definitely not what I expected. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. That's not the choice I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? 
My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Kolyat. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of sin. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected, no longer whole. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is. This is not a path he should walk. Hmm. Thane, I don't have your contacts, and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, they wrapped her body in sea bones. Weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The Hanar lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled in me. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. Jeez Louise. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Maybe he name dropped you to get hired. It's possible, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem right. My name. He should not respect it. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Well, good for you, Thane. We're already here, baby. We are on the Citadel. Can we just talk about how cool Thane is? Even his loyalty mission, just just the... Shepard, uh, is there time to visit the Citadel yet? Yeah. What what exactly? it, has gone to the Citadel. I don't know where exactly. Okay. But I do. The criminal elements of the station. I just, you know, I, it's just so cool. Every The voice actor that they have for Thane, it's just so good. It's so good. Um, and uh, immediately, you, we understand that we need to help him out. Not only that, but we need his loyalty mission. We're not going to worry about speaking with Tally just yet. It's going to be quite a bit until we do. Uh, but we are going to dock on the Citadel. And we're also not going to worry too much about um, about uh, the next loyalty mission, which is actually going to be Jack. So for this, we're going to be taking Thane and Garrus. And the reason for that is because Garrus actually has some really cool dialogue. However, if you wanted to do what I think would be cool uh, storyline wise um, I would take Jacob just because Jacob just went through this pretty traumatic experience with his father where he didn't really have a relationship with his and it didn't end that well at the end of their relationship the last time he'll probably ever see his father again to see Thane a dad do what he's about to do for Kolyat his son might be uh, something that Jacob needs to see, but we're gonna choose Garrus for now, and we'll switch it when we can, if we can. We're gonna go ahead and give Thane this throw here. Uh, we're gonna leave for Shredder Ammo to get that once he, once he is According ready to, to go. Reports, Harkin was taken into custody, and charges are pending. That's the least that bastard deserves. Oh yeah. A drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. Interesting. So that's where we're going to head is the CSEC office. Check in with Captain Bailey and see if Captain Bailey knows anything about this Drell. It's very rare to see a Drell, so I'm sure this is Kolyad. Let's go ahead and see what Captain Bailey has to say. Yes? My associate's trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many Drell here. 
There we go. One of my men reported to Drell recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, uh, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Commander. Laugh it up, Garrus. Buggy, though, <laughs> it crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducks dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. I've heard enough. The mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked Zakara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice, because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry, then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat, and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. You're welcome. Hey, so that little thing that we got with Garrus is pretty dope. The other reason why I would recommend bringing Garrus here is because Garrus used to work for CSEC. He knows all of these. He knows the Citadel. He knows what's going on. He's he's done it before. So bringing him also makes sense for that as well. As well as Garrus also has issues with his dad, as we know. And seeing Thane support this, Thane could be such a renegade, right? And he chooses to be a paragon in this moment. I just love that. But real quick, I actually want to show you what happens if you bring Tally with you as well. Because there she also has a little bit of dialogue that I just love. Like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Shepard. Laugh it up, Tally. Buggy though, it crashed every half hour. The error message. Yeah, I love how when it's buggy, she it's disappeared. Fix the problem oh, it's yourself. the best. Now that we've seen the dialogue that Tally has, which is the same as Garrus, I just think she delivers it in a cute way, and I love it. Uh, we have Garrus and uh, Garrus and Thane in our party here, because this is actually who we're going to do this mission with. I just think that even though it would be important for Jacob to see this, I think that it is more important that Koya is is stopped from doing this, and having someone that knows CSEC and might be able to defuse a situation in case something were to arise, I think that means that it's just more important to have somebody like... Garrus with us so he can he can deal with that if if it comes to that anyways we want to head to the dark star now but we're going to head back to the docking area because we can actually now that we have Garrus here we can actually talk to him and get some unique dialogue here right outside the dock I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed but it's just like it was same dirty streets same unrepentant scavengers same revolving door prisons being security here is a terrible job this is exactly why I left Hmm. Interesting. And if we head in here, we should be able to get a conversation with Thane as well while looking into one of these interrogation rooms here. Right here, if we go ahead and talk to Thane. You think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy? I know c too well to believe that's true. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. Huh. So if you have Garrus with you, Garrus will actually make a comment on that. If you don't have Garrus, just, just Thane will say anything. So I just think that's really cool. Anyways, we're going to now use the rapid transit 
uh, station to go to floor 28 so that we can see if we can find this this mouse. Now that we're on floor 28, we can just head to the side right in front of here. We will actually find Mouse. So right next to the entrance to Dark Star, we can actually find him. Let's see what's going on. Quarians who can strip the copy protection. Just call us more. Yeah, you got the package. It'll be there. Don't worry. I'll deliver it myself. Yeah, we'll see about that, bud. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You Mouse? What are you? Oh shit, Krios. I thought you retired. Commander Shepard? I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. <laughs> How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same Mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. Oh. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for, <laughs> they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You always done right by us, but I ain't gonna die for you. Now, we did have a renegade interrupt option there, but we're not going to do that one because I think we'll be able to charm our way. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's going to know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. He said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. Now, before we ask who Elias Kellum is, we're going to ask about those Shepard VIs. One other thing. That Shepard VI you're selling? Oh, shit. You heard... Look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. And we can want one. We can tell him to stop selling them. Or we can get a cut. I think we want one. Give me a copy and we'll call it even. What? I mean... Sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole... Just so you know, there's three Volas who are patching it all the time. <laughs> all right, let's ask about Elias Kellum. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in them big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shanakiba. He's seriously bad news. Oh, well, you made a smart choice. You just saved yourself a world of pain, kid. Yeah, right. When Kellum finds out what I've done, I won't live long. And I can't do anything about it but hide. Krios, you got any kindness for me? Put a bullet in Kellum before you go. Couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees, bare feet black, a dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then, but I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes, a foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm, smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him, that anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios, he asks. Oh, man. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Let's head back to Bailey. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and use the fast transit system so that we can head back to floor 27 quickly and go talk back to Bailey and see if he knows where we can find this Elias Kellum. This evil, evil man. Oh, I don't know what he is. Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? 
You talked to Mouse. Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum. Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Works for me. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. Got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI sent to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? Hmm. You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? We're not CSEC, buddy. Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a CSEC interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. Your advocate hasn't arrived. We're trying to find him. I'm not saying a damn word until he's here. You two are in way over your head. Pay attention, Mr. Kellum. That wasn't a good idea, kid. That is gonna cost you. Control your temper. We want him to talk. Sorry. My associate gets a little excited during interrogations. Hit me again, asshole. Every bunch is another credit in my pocket. Yeah, thought so. Chicken shit. Think carefully, Elias. I want to catch the assassin, not you. Why stick your neck out for him? You want me to confess to putting a contract on someone? You think I'm stupid? I get the name, I walk out. You never see me again. I got no reason to believe you. You don't have a reason to disbelieve either. This isn't working, Shepard. We're making no progress. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. Like the guy who's gonna sue your ass for assault. How about this? You tell us the target, you never see us again. And Bailey drops his price 50%. Yeah? Can I get that in writing? I don't think either of us want this in writing. All right. I ain't going to jail for the tadpole. And I do love a bargain. Joram Talid. Turian running for office on the Zakira Ward. He messes with legitimate businessmen. I'm gonna stop it. Where and when? His apartment. The 800 blocks. You better hurry and... What's going on here? Get away from my client. You... You played me! I've enjoyed our <laughs> chat, Elias. Thanks for your help. This isn't over. Nicely done. Wait. You got what you wanted. Who ratted me out? Now, it's also worth mentioning that there are other ways to deal with this. We have a few different ones. With a high enough Renegade score, we can intimidate him right away to get an instant confession, which is actually pretty cool because uh, 
Thane will actually comment about how that was the fastest interrogation ever. We can beat him three times with that Renegade interrupt that showed up, but we ignored the other two. You can only get that if you've beaten him all three times consecutively. Otherwise, he remains defiant. And if we advise Thane to play the good cop, and then we did the first interrupt, and then the two charms that we did after that, he'll sell us out, and then his lawyer will tell him to, uh, well, tell him to shut up. And also, if you got your Spectre status back, if you were actually reinstated, or you make a deal with either Blackmail's his, his lawyer, uh, you can also find out that way. So there's a few different ways that you'll be able to find this out. But uh, here we have the option of selling out Mouse, or I'm not telling you, we're obviously not going to sell out Mouse. I guess you have something to think about while you're in here, huh? I'll find out. And once I have a name, I'll... Elias. As your legal advocate, I advise you to shut the hell up. Where were you five minutes ago? Held up in traffic. <laughs> What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months. C-Sec filled with humans. Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. Well... I mean, we did rescue the entire count. Yeah, whatever. If the majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Grogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. Oh, man, Thane is so dope. Anyways, we're going to have to sit here. We're going to access this data pad real quick for heavy pistol damage. Show the humans they won't get their way. Thanks. Just remember, it's not all about the humans. They couldn't have gained this much power without the council's support. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. So he blames the council as well. You'll also notice that in the legendary edition, they have actually included a very large uh, blue hitbox on him now that never used to be there in the previous versions of the game. I'm gonna go ahead over here and update Thane. Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. Been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Now, if you notice, this Krogan that he's talking to actually has the head of Rex, which is very strange. It's not Rex, he just has the head of Rex. No problem so far. We'll head in here, watch out for the keeper, and we just need to be ready to update Thane as we proceed through here. We have plenty of time here to update him if we so choose, which we can. And you don't want to lose sight of Talim at all. Target in sight. If you do, well, it doesn't end well. Look at all the keepers in the catwalks. actually see the political thing on the side there take a stand against crime as they are extorting people 
Looks safe so far. I see him. Thane in position, ready to go. Looks like he's running. We just need to keep as close as we can. Looks like they're heading into the bar here, where we can actually see no so far. some dancers. And in fact, if you look, one of them actually has an Asari head on a human body. What's he doing? Which is kind of weird. I don't have a good angle. What's he doing? One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. And we'll head in here. Go through here. Keep an eye on him as much as we can. Remember, we do not want him to go away. Looks like he's approaching two more Krogan. Where is he now? He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Interesting. Hey, who are you? What are you doing back here? And looks like we found a stock boy, Jim Reynolds, here. I'm with the Citadel Health and Safety. We've had vermin reports in storage areas around here. But you can't be serious. How did you get in here? If I didn't have authorization, how did I get in? Can you see any other doors? There's the keeper. Never mind. Just. Just go on through, okay? Thanks. Yeah, yeah, just don't let my boss see you. Yeah, sounds good to me. We won't let your boss see you just us. Stay close or we'll lose him. Stay close, Shepard. Now, that said Shepard said that, but that was not true. A little bit weird of a bug. Anyways, that's no Jim Reynolds, the stock boy. And we could take him out if we wanted to. But I think the charm option was the way to go. Yet. This, this is a joke. Now, now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. c -Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. What the hell? Talib, get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Kolyat. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Kolyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, 
Take Koliat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. And just like that, we get cats in the cradle in the silver spoon. Little boy. Anyways, we leveled up. We're now level 27. Gained a squad point, 750 experience from that. Thane has dealt with his son. He should be clear of any further distractions from the mission. Thane's personal matter revealed troubling issues with Citadel politics. May have to support Elias Kellum and similar criminals to counteract anti-human bias. Bailey at CSEC offers a possible recruiting opportunity. Oh, shoot. And we get a power now for Thane, the Shredder Ammo, a new outfit for him as well. Heavy pistol damage yet again, and 30,000 credits. They've been in there a while. Uh, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSEC archive. About 10 years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. Oh, Captain Bailey. How'd it go? Our problems are... They are something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. Kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. Good thing we got that charm, baby, because we were just able, yes. able, we were just able to, uh, well, we were just, that was great. Oh, should be going. you know, you need anything else, Captain you Bailey know. has really grown on me as we've proceeded through this game. And unfortunately, we won't be able to see... Uh, apparently we still have this, but we won't be able to go talk to Kolya as well, which is too bad. I don't know why this, uh, popped up again that we could talk to Thane. I guess you can just always talk to him? Interesting. Can we always talk to Garrus? No. Weird. No, it's gone now. Interesting. Anyways, my friends, that is Thane's loyalty mission completed. But before we end, I want to go ahead and show you uh, the new outfit that we have for Thane, which just looks dope. Um, I believe it is this one, this white one here. Although he other he also has the DL. I think that's the DLC one uh, with the glasses. I'm pretty sure the white is the one that we get for loyalty, which I just think looks better than the one with the weird. 90s sunglasses that he wears and also Adrell's super cool part is the eyes and how awesome they are so why would we hide that anyways uh i just think that's cool so we have um we have uh thane now i don't really think shredder ammo is like super worth it i would rather go something like uh throw but shredder ammo is not terrible you can definitely use it in fact i would probably go with shredder ammo overthrow just because we're Odds are we're going to be using his warp on cooldown and not his throw. So, yeah, why not just put some points into Shredder Ammo instead of throw? But now that Thane's loyalty mission is complete, we have one more thing that we can do here on the Citadel, which is the Forged ID side quest that we picked up a long time ago. We can finally now turn that in now that Thane's loyalty is finished. There is a bug and stuff that you can do as well, and but we, we never ended up getting to that point. So basically, we'll want to keep an eye out for some Asari right over here. I can't believe these humans. No fly lists? What did they turn this place into? Let's go ahead and talk to Kalara Tomi. I overheard you talking. Having a problem? It's a private matter. Now, there actually is a way to optimize this mission. You can actually complete this mission twice. 
Uh, so if you have not done Garrus's loyalty mission, but you do Thane's voice first, you'll actually be able to complete both objectives for this. So first you do Thane's loyalty mission before Garrus. You convince CSEC security about the forged IDs that we're about to hand over. Then you do Garrus's loyalty mission. You acquire the fake IDs and then you turn them into the women because they'll be back and we can complete it twice and get rewarded twice and get uh, credits basically twice. Uh, but we didn't end up doing that. Uh, because there it has been reports that uh, sometimes they just won't appear if you do it that way. So let's go ahead and let's tell her that we'll help. Give me a chance. I might be able to help. I don't see why you would. Since your kind gained a seat on the council, they've taken over CSEC customs. There are hundreds of new security checks and travel restrictions. We've been flagged as a potential risk for geth infiltration. They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. Well, why is that? Let's go ahead and find out why. Why would they consider you a risk? You're obviously not Geth. I don't know. They wouldn't tell us. We got on a list somewhere for some reason, and they won't tell us anything because it's classified. And who should I talk to? Who won't let you board a ship? I don't know who made the decision. Some pencil pusher at the shuttle port told us. The one outside the C-Sec station? Hmm. Well, let's go I'll see. I'll see if I can get it sorted out. I'm not holding my breath. We're going to go talk to customs first, even though we do have the forged IDs, and see if maybe we can figure out why they're doing this. So we're going to head out to CSEC Customs and go ahead and talk to her. Can I help you, ma'am? I talked to a couple of Asari. They say customs won't let them leave the station, but they weren't told why. Can you help me out? I'm sorry, sir, but all matters related to station security are classified. We can't risk geth infiltration. Revealing why someone is on a watch list might compromise the safety of CSEC's undercover agents. Did you talk with them? Did they seem like geth agents to you? Well, no, but you can never be sure. Look, miss, I've fought hundreds of geth. I can assure you that those two aren't geth infiltrators. The lack of flashlight heads was kind of a giveaway. I'm not saying it makes any sense. Those are the rules I have to enforce. I can't get them cleared, but I can flag the case file for review. That will allow them to travel in the meantime. Is there anything else I can do for you? Nope. I'm fine. Thanks for your help. Next. And we will have finished that. We'll actually receive, we should receive some Paragon points for that. Five Paragon points. You can also intimidate as well to receive Renegade points. But we're going to go back and talk to Kalara and tell her the good news. And we have another option if we wanted to receive Renegade points from this we could do that as well so let's go ahead and talk to her so and we can either tell her that they'll let her leave or we can tell her about the forged ids so we're going to tell her that they'll let her leave um the forged ids will give us five renegade points but we could just tell her that they'll let us leave and we'll also get two renegade points now our renegade points are maxed out so maybe it would be a better idea to just give them the forged ids and we're going to go ahead and we are going to just let them leave. Good news. I convinced them to let you go. You what? How did you do that? I explained how their methods are flawed. I fought a lot of Geth in my time. Few have. How unexpected. We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow. And we get 40 experience for that easy little quest and it, and a thousand credits. And it also gets changed now from forged IDs to false positives. And the reason why I actually chose that over is not for the renegade points or, or the paragon points. But it's because I prefer seeing the quest log false positives than the forged ID. Just because this one feels more like a paragon playthrough uh, than the other one does. So that's exactly why I did that. And that, my friends, is everything we can do here on the Citadel. We have a, Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. heavy pistol ammo, uh, heavy pistol damage upgrade. Apparently, even though we were maxed out, but we can go ahead and do that, which will give us six out of six, which I could have sworn we already were, but that might just be a bug there because I'm pretty sure it's maxed out. And we also have an on-red message at our private terminal. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with that. We have a message from Leslie, who was on Aya, the that was the planet that we were on 
um, uh, for Jacob's loyalty mission in the previous episode. I'm Leslie. I was on Aya. The food made me sick. The doctors are helping me now. One doctor knows Jacob. He says he can tell you this. He could write this for me, but I want to do it. I need to use my words. My words are coming back. I can talk well. Reading is hard, but I'm getting better. I have to get better. Taylor wanted me like this. He wanted my words gone. I have to show him that he lost. I am not weak. He did things to me, and he can't now. He can't take away my words. He can't make me not me anymore, because you and Jacob stopped him. And hopefully, he gets to see that that everything he did is is bad. B -b 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 bad. Anyways, let's go talk to Thane and check in with him and see what he has to say now that we've completed his loyalty mission. And talking to Thane. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. What do you mean, solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass. The warmth of another's hand on yours. The taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls and metal and plastic? Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is... unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. Isn't that a rather personal memory to talk about? Forgive me. Lately, I've spent a great deal of time reviewing my life. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remembered the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. <laughs> That's probably true. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. That sounds difficult. At any moment, you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drill minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. So you don't assume any responsibility for the things you do? Not every action performed by my body is a result of conscious choices. I take responsibility for those that are. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah, uh, that time. Laser duck trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant to the scope. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid drill memory? Not... No. She was a vivid person. Did you take the shot? Not that day. And it looks like that's all we're going to be able to get from Thane for now, so... I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. You've spent a lot of your life alone, Thane. <laughs> Work fulfilled me. Reading. I barely spoke to anyone outside my family. It seems there will be no one to mourn me when I die. You're the only friend I've made in 10 years. And is that just a friend there, Thane? Friend, huh? That's a start. A start? That's... intriguing. I will always be here to talk. I'm sure it is intriguing, Thane. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've all... Mind if I Not at all. You? I should go. I shall return to my meditations. All right, Thane. 
And just like that, we are able to start a romance option. Doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to. Sometimes we just like to flirt, which we do. You know, it's just, hey, listen, flirting's fun and we enjoy it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna flirt with Bane. Anyways, we have one more loyalty mission, my friends before we are going to do anything else. And that is going to be Jack, Subject Zero. Talk to Jack on the sub-level beneath the Normandy engineering deck. I feel like it's been a while since we've actually talked to Jack, so I'm excited to get that rocking and rolling. And I can already tell you that we're going to be bringing Miranda to that loyalty mission. And I recommend before doing that, that you have a pretty high charm or intimidate option. You're going to need it in uh, what happens after that. If you've completed both Miranda and Jacob's loyalty missions, uh, I or uh, Jack's loyalty missions, you're going to need that. I highly recommend. But before we end, let's go talk to our boy Joker and see if he has anything to comment on uh, Thane and Koliath's relationship see if there's anything new there. It's also worth mentioning that we could check in with Jacob as well. Commander. Looks like he doesn't I have anything to say you, about Thane and Kolyad, which is too bad. Checking in with Jacob real quick to see if he has anything to say after thinking about what we did for him. Commander. Can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. I could use some downtime. There's always something, right? The way some people talk, we may as well be dead already. Hard for the crew to relax on this kind of job. No kidding. The next Normandy gets a lounge. They better not need to do this again. Rebuilding everything was a pain in the ass. I can verify that. Yeah, I bet you can. I doubt they'll front the money to stitch me back together if we screw it up. It's a hell of a job, isn't it, Shepard? Being the good guys. Wouldn't be the high road if it was easy. You've got to figure, if all the people hoping we win stood up, the Collectors would have a much bigger fight on their hands. Claws, whatever. I bet we have a lot more friends once we win. Hope we live to see it. I hear that. Anyway, I need to get back to work. Good talking to you. And, just like that, Jacob actually has Come more in. to say. I'm which is, which is, already. uh... I'm, I'm really glad about that talk. because we'll I feel like we haven't been able to see too much from him and that conversation was actually pretty darn useful. Anyways, my friends, that will do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out yet again to those of you watching in the premieres. Even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash missiledyneonline. Without you, I would not be able to do any of this. Don't forget to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the videos, especially if you saw that it just released and you go ahead and you, you throw one down, uh, pass it around, and um, it helps push us into the algorithm. So thank you so much. Anyways, we are now level 26. Seven. Uh, only a few levels to go until we hit the cap of this game and only a few more missions left including we have uh, Jack's loyalty mission, Tally's loyalty mission, an unknown party member's loyalty who we still don't have in our party and uh, we also have the Overlord DLC and some side quests that we'll be knocking out in a future episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember never give up, never surrender. Bye everyone.